We've all been there, sitting in the middle of peak hour morning traffic, not moving, bumper to bumper, quietly hating your life. Then you see someone whiz by on a freakishly futuristic ride, and you suddenly wish you'd ditched the car a long time ago. Want to find out how far we've come when it comes to travel? Here are the 10 most innovative personal transport vehicles of 2021. 10. Honda has a tried and proven track record when it comes to small, super-efficient two-wheeled vehicles. The 2022 Ruckus model NPS50 is no exception. Many people are put off scooters by the kickstart having to use a foot clutch to change gears. The NPS 50 is an electric start and has a smooth as silk automatic gearbox. All you have to do is focus on balance and steering. At the heart of this beast beats a 49cc liquid-cooled four-stroke engine. It's only one cylinder, meaning it will run on the fumes from an oily rag for a week, saving you money at the gas pump. The scooter itself is light as a feather thanks to a tubular frame. Sending it on a diet and keeping the weight down means that the Ruckus has enough performance to turn heads, but not send the fuel gauge racing to empty. The A-Ride is like a cross between an e-bike and a scooter, except it can double as a light off-road vehicle. The design brief was to create an extremely versatile product that could be ridden on any kind of road during all seasons and by novice and expert riders alike. Safety is also a critical criterion that had to be met. The end result is perhaps one of the safest hybrid street off-road two-wheeled vehicles on the market. You'll find heavy-duty suspension and chunky tires reminiscent of a mountain bike. The A-Ride is even able to clear jumps on dirt tracks. A powerful 1,000-watt geared hub electric motor can propel the rider along at 35 miles per hour and tackle 30% gradient inclines. The battery is good for 50 miles, which more than covers the commute to and from work or a foray into the forest and back. The Cobra is a pretty unique design. Taking inspiration from a penny farthing, the front steer tire is larger and wider than the smaller rear drive tire, meaning it corners like a dream. A combination of double disc brakes and electronic braking assist means they stop on a dime. The tubular steel frame adds some serious style points and keeps the weight to a minimum, so the Cobra can remain nimble and agile wherever you're riding it. When it comes to tires, the Smart Trim features slicker tires to grip the road better and is more suited to life in the urban jungle. The Climber is the opposite, with chunky all-terrain tires that provide the grit and stability needed for riding places that are much rockier and muddier than usual. Looking a bit like the love child of an electric scooter and an airport luggage trolley, the Mimo C1 solves the problem of where to put your junk. Most e-bikes and scooters conveniently leave cargo out of the equation. 
This two-in-one function is the C1's main selling point as it can switch from scooter to trolley in a paltry three seconds. The front hatch is perfect for storing things like a backpack, your laptop, or groceries. It's really only limited by your imagination. The big plus here is that it comes with a spare battery, so if you run out of charge, getting back on the road is as easy as swapping the flat one out for a fresh one. The smaller mini scooter type wheels dramatically reduce the unit's footprint, meaning it can fit on public transport and be stored easily behind a door. Easily the coolest personal transport vehicle on the list, the Flightboard Series 2 E-Foil Surfboard doesn't even need waves. You'll be hanging 10 on water as flat as glass. This is all thanks to a built-in propeller and hydrofoil that mimic the propulsion and momentum of a wave. As the propeller spins, forward movement is generated. The hydrofoil creates resistance that pushes the whole surfboard up and out of the water to reduce resistance and increase speed. The board itself is ultra buoyant, around 50% more than a regular surfboard. Because of this, the flight board only needs to be 23 inches long, making packing it into the car a breeze. The electric motor is controlled via a Bluetooth handset with additional switches for the board's built-in LED lights. Riders can expect around 90 minutes of fun before the battery runs low. Although the aesthetics may resemble something between an old shopping trolley and a golf cart, the golf board and resort board are actually pretty handy bits of kit. On the golfing green, having to drag around a caddy for your clubs is a pain in the backside. Also, electric golf carts have notoriously high centers of gravity, making them prone to tipping over and rolling. The golf board solves both of these issues by providing an electric scooter with four wheels for greater stability. Golf clubs are attached to the front and you're off and away to land that hole in one. The resort board is slightly different with carrying baskets on the front in place of brackets for your golf bag. It has an impressive 18 mile range and is more designed for cruising around the back roads as you explore the countryside while on vacation. The E-Omnia gets its name from having everything for every type of rider. They're a new type of e-bike that is fully customizable to meet the demands of the customer. All models come with an assist motor that provides up to 340% extra on top of the rider's power. The C-Type is perfect for city riding. It has suspension all around for a relaxing trip, stylish looks, and a pedal assist battery that lasts up to 70 miles. What more do you want? The T-Type is more of a tourer, meant to cover both city travel and also weekend treks into the countryside. The suspension is beefed up to handle anything from asphalt to light gravel. A dual battery is added to increase the range to 120 miles. The X-Type is meant for trail riding and features a more robust pedal assist motor to help with the steeper inclines and hills you'll find off-road. The FX-Type has upgraded 29-inch Kenda Hellcat wheels, 
a rock shocks, suspension system, and ABS brakes. Three. Mini motorbikes are amazing fun, and the Grunt is no exception. It's an electric trail bike with swappable batteries that will take you up to 100 miles on just a single charge. The motor is chain-driven, providing 75 foot-pounds of torque that is more than enough Grunt, pardon the pun, to turn the wide, chunky mud tires at a fantastic rate of knots, up to 60 miles per hour. A full charge takes just two hours from a regular 120 volt power outlet, meaning you can be back on the trail in no time. The frame has 12 inches of ground clearance. It is super lightweight, tackling small to moderately sized obstacles, while still remaining maneuverable enough for light trail riding. An oversized front headlight is a welcome addition and makes night riding that much safer. Looking like it's come straight out of the classic sci-fi movie Tron, the Metacycle looks striking and futuristic. The narrow, sleek profile and solid frame both reduce the footprint of the bike and provide rigidity and strength. At its heart is a 4,000 watt-hour 72-volt battery that can take you up to 80 miles. A 20-horsepower hub-mounted electric motor provides 8 kilowatts of thrust, translating into top speeds in excess of 80 miles per hour. Just make sure you wear a helmet. The body is suspended above the wheel via a heavy-duty steel spring, precisely like a regular car, with the front handlebar forks cushioned by a pair of pneumatic shock absorbers. Electric personal transport vehicles are meant to be slow. Still, the Metacycle is anything but that, able to easily outmotor other gas-powered scooters and light motorcycles. One. The Bull E looks to blur the lines between electric scooter and motorbike. The tires are massive and broad, looking exactly like what you'd find on a Harley Davidson Cruiser. The extra stability and grip make sure the rider is super comfy on longer, straight line trips. A 2000 watt motor sits within each wheel able to coast along at a moderately paced 45 miles an hour for up to 50 miles. Great for short distance, intercity transportation. Instead of sitting upright, the rider leans forward just like on a cafe-style racer, reducing drag while at the same time adding a more dramatic pose to the riding stance. Now all you need is a leather jacket and a black full-face helmet for that ultimate badass rider look, minus the greenhouse emissions and gas costs.